Explain for those viewers that aren't sort of entirely clued up the 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 difference between nuclear um, coal and and solar and and I mean in the South African context obviously we we all know that we our national grid is under huge strain um, why we aren't why there isn't a bigger push for solar given the amount of sunshine we get here look I think we we um, uh, the the push that you refer to is happening mm -hmm. um, there's a approximately a thousand megawatts of renewable energy being procured every year by the Department of Energy. Mm -hmm. The transaction happens through, th through ESCOM, the, the utility. Um, really what, what differentiates this program, and it is a program, mm -hmm. uh, from, from historical generation of power is A, it's focused on renewables, mm -hmm. which is primarily solar, wind, concentrating solar, and some, some bioenergy, um, but it is done on a purely private basis. Mm. So you have independent power producers that are contracting under a power purchase agreement with ESCOM to sell electricity at a fixed rate, a known rate on day one of commercial operation and increasing according to, um, to CPI for the next 20 years. Mm. That's an all-in cost. There are, there are, there's no deviation to that. Mm. Historically, um, our, and, and about 95% of our generation capacity comes from coal, mm. the balance being nuclear, the nuclear plants in Coburg. Um, and traditionally those have been built, financed, um, and so on by ESCOM. Mm. Okay. So they own the generation capacity. <coughs> it, it, as far as renewables are concerned, they don't own, they simply buy the mm. generated electricity and distribute that um, in, in, into the grid for, for consumption. Mm. And then, I mean, talks of the government with nuclear deals with Russia, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Why is the, do you think, the focus is not rather on solar? Well, look, I think um, we approach it, uh, most people in the renewable sector at least, approach it from the idea of a generation mix. Um, renewables has many attributes. Mm. Um, it, it has a disadvantage in being a variable source of, of electricity, meaning that you only get electricity when the wind blows, mm. um, whereas nuclear or coal generate 24-7 at a, at a predetermined and managed mm. output. Um, so, so we actually in the foreseeable future will need to be looking at a, a mix, mm. but increasing the mix of or, or, or the percentage of renewables going into our um, electricity supply. Mm. And, and certainly gas is a, is a, is a really, really important player that works very nicely actually with, um, with an increasing percentage of renewables on, on the grid for various technical reasons. Um, so from, a, um, from that perspective, we should be looking at everything. I think we need to really reconsider um, um, the emphasis maybe that's going into historical or fossil uh, mm -hmm. fuels, primarily because the um, the integrated resource plan, which is really lays the foundation and projects our demands for the next 20 years and currently up to 2030, uh, the, the most current version of that is, is, um, was signed off in 2010 and predicts a much higher demand for electricity than what we actually are experiencing and, mm. and the, what the current projections are. And in fact, if you look at our current demand and projections of demand, we could defer a decision about nuclear for another 10 to 15 years. Okay. So we really shouldn't be considering it right now, no, for my sure. opinion.